metal seals are found only in Antarctica. They're a true seal, Fosidae. So you see they don't have the external ears like some of the sea lions and things that people see uh, more at some of the zoos and aquarium type places. And they're one of several truly Antarctic seals that are only found in this part of the world. They're one of the better diving marine mammals in the world. Can hold their breath for over 40 minutes and dive about 2,000 feet. We know them to be a seal that swims back in under the frozen sea ice and they come up through the tide cracks and around here on these against these islands we have places where the the ice is attached to the shoreline and then out here the the tide goes up and down a few feet it's about a one meter tide maybe maximum in this area and the the seals use that diving ability to get back in here and um, come out through these tide cracks and exploit this area one of their tricks in life is to get back in to have their pups away from anywhere where there's any predators. So that may be part of why they allow us to be so able to work in and around them is that they don't have predators up here on top of the ice. So they're not so worried about anything happening to them. I don't know that, but it's kind of an idea that people talk about. For the first few weeks of life, the babies are wearing this Lanugo coat, this fleecy looking coat. They're not very fat yet when they're brand new and they're not waterproof so for a while they're really really visible to us up on the surface and then it, as they get a little fat from mom's milk they'll start to swim learn some skills in the water and then they'll be a little less available to us for our work the next part of their life they sort of disappear from here the first couple years of life they're not around very much in the colonies the breeding colonies there's some evidence that they go out into the pack ice and probably exploiting fish out in those areas, although it's not that well understood yet. And then at some point, around three, four, five years old, they'll come back into these colonies and start to give birth. Maybe have a pup every two out of three years on average. Start giving birth at about age five, six, seven, somewhere in there. And then they'll have one pup a year is the maximum. Maybe a pup every two to three years. And most of these animals live to be about five years old. So most, most animals that are born like a pup like this, most of them don't make it to adulthood. The first couple years of life, they get about a 50-50 chance of surviving. But if they can make it out to about age three, the survival rates get very high. They're getting bigger, they're getting stronger, and probably know their way around and have places they, they know to find food and shelter and so on. If they make it out to age three, then they can live to about 15 years old. The oldest seal we've ever had is 30 but probably not very many make it that long. That's pretty rare. So when we see a 20-year-old or a 25-year-old, those are pretty old seals. 